everybody, what's happening? We're here at Oticon 2015. We're here with Nick, the creator of Sombrero, a spaghetti western mayhem game. Tell us a little bit about this game. Sure, uh, so Sombrero is a uh, up to four player, uh, local multiplayer, couch multiplayer, um, uh, spaghetti western themed kind of platformer. It's all 2D, it's all, it's all flat art that I, that I drew by hand and scanned in and cleaned up. And So what was the inspiration of, of, of the graphic style? Um, it was something that I could do. <laughs> <laughs> it was no, it feasible. Was, um, so I'm doing, I'm doing everything myself except the, the, the soundtrack, and I wanted to get a lot of characters in, I wanted to get a lot of stages in. I wanted to make sure the stages uh, all had a unique tile set, and it wasn't just a lot of repeating stuff. Um, so I just tried to come up with a nice, a nice simple style that, that would work like that. And, um, you know, the old, the old sort of Tex Avery cartoons and the Chuck Jones stuff from the Warner Brothers, and then more modern stuff like Samurai Jack. Uh, you know, that kind of more, more flat look, but with a little bit of texture in it was, was a good way to go. How long have you been working on this project? Uh, it's been about a year and eight months now. Oh, wow. So not too long. Feels like a long time. Feels like a long time. A lot of hours put in. A lot, lot of hours put in, yeah. 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 So where, where do you get the inspiration to kind of come up with this kind of game? Like, what, what other games have you played that maybe lend itself to this game? Um, I, really, I just kind of like spaghetti westerns a lot. <laughs> and, so, and so that's where it came from. And um, there's, 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 you know, there's more indie stuff like Towerfall and Samurai yeah. Gun. I must have Samurai Jack again. Now, and, Great show. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, Smash Brothers, obviously. Um, I had actually sketched out all the little, well, not all of them, but a lot of the character stuff and some of the background uh, artwork like, years ago before, before Couch Multiplayer started becoming popular again. Like, sitting at work at my desk, just sort of doodling on post-it notes, and then I shoved them in a drawer because I don't throw anything away. And then um, I was working on a, on a different kind of game. Um, and I just wasn't liking the way that it was going, so I sort of remembered, and hey, maybe I should go back and pull out that old stuff and see what I could do with that, and now, now here's Sombrero. Well, I was going to ask you where the inspiration for the characters came from, because I was playing as a cheese wedge, which I thought was pretty nice. Uh, so is that your own creation? Uh, the cheese wedge character and a couple other characters in the game are actually from other indie games. So uh, uh, the cheese wedge, there's a character in there called Peep, and uh, there's another one, oh, Meat Slayer. Uh, so, so Meat Slayer is from a game called Meat Slayer. Uh, that's, that's an iOS game that's coming, oh, iOS and Android game that's coming out soon. That's done by the guys that run the Meatly.com, which is like an online webcomic about, about game development. Uh, Peep is from a game called Treasure Adventure World that was pretty big on, on Kickstarter a few years ago before it all sort of did whatever it's doing now with games. And, um, and uh, Cheese Wedge is from a game called Organic Panic. That's another four-player game where it's uh, uh, meat and cheeses versus fruit and veggies, I think is what it is. <laughs> nice. That's like my everyday life. Yeah, I mean, right? So it's constant also, battle. So no Cheetos, though, so it's not quite like my everyday life. But it's, um, so they're all, they're all based in New York, and we all met each other at, at various game events or like playtesting stuff where we get together and have public people, public people, the public yeah. come in and, and play. And play uh, and play games, get feedback, and play testing, and you know that kind of stuff. Sure. And where can people get, find more about your game? Uh, they can go to sombrerogame.com. Uh, that's probably the best place to go. That's that's sort of straight up dedicated to the game. Uh, there's a Facebook page too. That's facebook.com/pixelmetal, uh, which is the company name, uh, like my shirt says. And uh, and uh, they can follow me on Twitter and tell me what a horrible person I am uh, <laughs> at, at Pixel Metal as well. Sure. Well. Yeah, excellent. I mean, you can definitely see the Smash Brothers, uh, you know, inspiration there. It's a, so it's a four-player co-op, but you can play against, you know, the computer or any combination of it, that kind of thing. Is you have team battles and that kind of thing, or is it just... Uh, there will be team battles in there. Uh, it's not in there quite yet. That's probably going to be one of the last things I do, because that's kind of it's kind of an easy thing to add. Uh, there's not going to be uh, any bots, like, okay. like sort of, you know, nothing, nothing like... Uh, uh, a full-on, you know, player bot kind of thing. Uh, but what I'm doing is a training mode where there's more platformer-style enemies. Uh, so they won't have the same movement because having, doing a bot when there's so many stages, uh, or, or sorry, uh, so many platforms you can jump around on, and they're all different levels, and there's each 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 uh, uh, each stage has you know very different characteristics to it. It's, it's a lot for me to do, and I'm not entirely sure I could pull it off as well as I would like to. Uh, so, so what I'm doing instead is, is uh, uh, I'll have the different sort of, like I said, platformer style enemies that'll, that'll hit upon different parts of the game and how you play it and they'll help sort of train you to play against other players. Well, we had a ton of fun playing it. So yeah, far, so it good. Awesome. Um, when, when is the release date? 
Soon? Soon? It's coming out soon. Hopefully. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was supposed to be out at the beginning of the year. I really only thought it would take a year to do. And then, because I, I had only planned on having one or two different game modes, then I ended up adding in the loot and deathmatch and capture the flag and the banditos, which isn't on there yet, but it's uh, kill the player with the gold monkey skull. So, so you chase around the guy who has the monkey skull and oh. you try to get it from oh, him. Yeah. It's like the opposite of tag kind of thing. I don't know. A better way to put that, yet. So you can take your cheese wedge carrots and go after the... Well, I would win, so it wouldn't matter. <laughs> yeah. I'm number one. Like every match. No, Almost. he didn't. Almost. He did not win every match, Almost. for the record. Nick, thanks so much. Yeah. It's looking great, man. Nice to meet you guys. All right. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Nice Keep it here on Press Start TV.